Oh, and after uh, 36 years, the disaster is over. Not pain. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play Every Nation U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with a nation that I've been scared to play ever since it got updated in Origins as the nation of Mali. Mali is a nation that starts off in West Africa with Mansa Musa the third right here, who's a 1-0-0. That's horrible. And you might think that Mali is one of the most powerful nations in West Africa. Maybe one of the most powerful nations in all of Africa, but you'd be wrong because Mali starts off with the most horrible disaster U4 has to offer at the start of the game, which makes Mali actually one of the hardest starts in the entirety of the game. I'd rather play a Ming Vassal. I think they're easier, but we have to give Mali a shot. Mali ideas are actually pretty good. We start off with minus 10% land attrition and plus two tolerance of heathens, finishing off with plus 10% infantry combat ability. Then we got income from vassals plus 20%, goods produced plus 10%, manpower plus 10%, discipline, naval tradition, a merchant, and trade efficiency so Mali ideas are actually really really good and even though we start off with so much dev and seemingly pretty strong aside from a ruler right here this disaster is gonna knock us down a couple of peg I've never watched a Mali guide I don't know how to navigate through this disaster I think it's gonna be horrible so I'm really really scared to play them but what do we do as Mali well you know even though the start is so difficult man Mali does have a couple unique achievements Abu Bakr the second's ambition which requires us to have four colonial subjects as Mali and even though I already have that achievement I feel like it's a fun challenge to do right here for today so that's exactly what we're going to be doing as Mali navigating through the disaster at the start and then trying to get four colonial subjects in South America basically Colombia Brazil Argentina and Peru and if you're wondering why I'm not going for the other achievement which requires you to gift 10,000 ducats to a European power without loans well it's impossible for me to play without loans so let's jump in as Mali all right all right here we are as Mali and everything seems normal right at the start but no as soon as we unpause we're gonna get this disaster right here plus one unrest stab cost caravan power our monthly autonomy change we're gonna lose stab oh my god it's so horrible and the worst part is we have to do this mission right here to end it that's right it's all the way down here we're gonna have to do like all of these missions here to end it dude uh it's actually really hard but yeah first we need to start by doing this mission right here where we need to gain six points in each category per month uh just so pretenders don't rise up and stuff like that and we gain some points and that is gonna be hard because we're making 433 now so uh, yeah level two advisors are gonna have to be hard and we are gonna have to get rid of this guy all right, so let's go ahead and get started by doing some estate stuff. Right, did I mention religious uh, unity is horrible as well? We have only like two Sunni provinces in a fetishist area. All right, estate stuff done for now. I gave out the Dimi privilege so we don't get that uh, religious disunity. And we're also going to seize land right here. And I haven't given out the cheaper advisor privileges. All right, now let's go ahead and set some rivals. I'm going to rival Jolof, Kong, and uh, that's it for now. And let's go ahead and start making those uh, monarch points, man. Let's go ahead and get this uh, stab discount guy, actually. And we need a level two dip advisor and we need a level two mill advisor let's just go ahead and get this one okay now we're making uh points and there we go we can go ahead and take that all right um sort of advanced i'm never gonna do this one how am i gonna get these guys so loyal either way man uh force limit 17 i don't know let's get the free company up we are gonna need it let's give our ruler mill command uh we do need to do that for this mission ruler is a general army size force limit okay we'll be able to do that one too let's give this guy oh, actually a really good general and um Maybe some alliances. We need to fight Timbuktu and Songhai. I'm gonna ally Songhai and Ayur for now, I think. And let's go ahead and unpause. And there it is, December 1st, the decline of Mali. These are dark times. We lose stab, blah, 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 and we're in the disaster. To end the disaster, we need to do this mission right here. It's gonna be painful, very painful. All right, but now we can do this mission too. Perma claims on some areas and a subjugation on Jolof. Uh, CB will last for 10 years, okay. So yeah, uh, first order of business is fight Jolof. I think we should declare them immediately in like 10 days. Let's see. Okay, a month has passed. They don't have any allies. Is this the way to do it? Not subjugation. All right, what do are, what are our missions tell us? I mean, yeah, Jolof is this way, but we still need like 350 dev for this mission, which we do need to do to do that one this is so complicated either way let's fight Jolof and let's hope we don't blow up while fighting them uh let's declare for their most valuable province which is uh Wolof so um there we go so yeah I think the first like 40 maybe years are gonna be us dealing with this man after that we're gonna get the 
you know, colonizing if Portugal and Castile aren't there already. Okay, so we got Islamization of the aristocracy. We can choose to gain missionary strength and basically uh, this gets, you know, the religious mission or tolerance for the tolerance mission. I'm already sort of leaning on being tolerant with the, you know, Demi privilege. So let's not rock the boat. And there we are back with stat. Like this guy couldn't get any worse. Either way, we can do this now. Excellent. Two privileges to Demi. Three tolerance of heretics. Okay, whatever. All right, sieging down Jolof is going good. I'm actually going to get rid of one cavalry regiment. A good thing about us is we start off uh, with two gold mines, man. Uh, the one in Bure and the one in Bambuk. Uh, we do need to dev both of these up. Yeah, we're going to get Lobi 2 from Kong later. So at least money won't be a problem. There it is. Ugh. Another horrible event. Peasants rise up here, or we gain 30 autonomy in Messina, which is here. We don't have the gold mines there, so let's do that. Ugh. All right, just as particularists have risen up, Mansa Musa died. Oh, actually, we got a really good error. I mean, it, it was good that he died, right? Because he sucks. Then we got this guy who's 1-1-1, but we'll try and get rid of him as well. I did already give him milk command. Let's dump the siege, I guess. Okay, we're with Jolof is done. Let's go ahead and full annex them. There we go, sure. Uh, let's go beat these guys up. Now we can do this one. Oh, stab and 200 diamond points. I like that. Uh, let's go ahead and core this up. Segu, dev, and increase autonomy. All right, we need to have 15 dev here. There's 15 dev. There's autonomy increased. Great, now we can do this one as well. One more stab, perfect. And perma claims on this right here. Awesome. All right, next to advance, we do need to complete, uh, reintegrate Songai and retake Timbuk too. So we do need to fight these guys. Yeah, we'll use Songai's help to fight these guys, and then Ayur's help to fight Songai? We should be able to ally them. Ah, of course. All right, where do these guys rise up? At Pararza. Where is that? I just beat up two more rebel stacks. Luckily, we don't get any army debuffs from this, man, but I do think manpower is really gonna be a problem here. We need to rely on mercs, so I am gonna immediately start deving, uh... Okay, they're in the same state. Encourage dev. There's right there. There's Bure. Let's bump it up once. Um, yeah, as much as we can, actually. Give me a break. Yeah, dude, all of these conquering missions aside, this is definitely the hardest one. Maybe I should have watched a guide or something, but how do we get all of these guys to 60, man, when we constantly get events that drop their loyalty? Our equilibrium is 58.3 here on the Amirs, and on the Ulema, it's... Yeah, we can get these guys to 60 easily, but yeah, the, the clergy and the burgers are going to be a problem. Look, see, these are the events I'm talking about. Uh, I can't just keep giving them land, right? 50 autonomy, they'll gain land. Maybe I can just keep giving them land? Right, why do I still have these guys? Uh, we need to fire them. Yeah, either way, next route of expansion is going to be fighting Timbuktu with Sungai and Ayur's help. Uh, shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. All right, well, I got favors with Sungai and Ayur. Manpower, still not satisfied with it, but I think we got to declare on Timbuktu. Actually, first, I'm going to set all of these provinces here as provinces of interest. And I do have claims on all of them, so everything should get transferred to me. So let's go ahead and declare on Timbuktu, man, for the conquest of Timbuktu and call in Sungai and Ayur. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Again? Oh, that's actually good. Wait, that was the queen region, but I like that. Now, Kabu demands independent. <laughs> All right, man, we're about done here. Songai did occupy one province, but I don't think I need that anyway. So let's just do this. Uh, should I give it to Songai? Nah, let's keep them alive over here, man. We'll do something with them uh, later. All right, there we go. That's done. I got Timbuktu now, right? Oh, I just need to core it up. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna stab up. All right, so I dev up my capital a bit right here uh, to 12, 10, 10. That just to get this uh, thingy right here. And of course, for an estate agenda that I had. Uh, I'm not gonna keep pushing for feudalism. It's already spreading. We also need to get the Renaissance later. <sighs> All right, bear with me. All right, I cored up Timbuktu. Now we can take the mission, retake Timbuktu. There's stab and admin points and uh, an event happens. Make Timbuktu our capital. Two tax enable a decision which allows us to colonize Tuat. So we'll gain that. Okay, that's good. Or do we gain more Devon Joma? What's the benefit of making Timbuktu our capital? It produces cloth, I guess, and it's a center of trade, but I already deved up um, Joma by quite a lot, right? Uh, let's keep it here, but we still get that decision, right? Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, I just need to own that. Okay. All right, so now I need some money to embrace feudalism. We can't yet get new burger loans, right? I Actually, I'm just going to get one a regular big one so I can pay off that old burger loan. And now we can go ahead and get new burger loans. Perfect. And uh, there's feudalism. There's uh, Miltech 3. Um, actually, we got some money. Eh, nothing to build. Okay, now, yeah. 
All right, so now the plan is fight Jinnei, Yatenga, and Kong maybe to get a little bit more powerful before we fight Songai because we do need a lot of provinces from them, especially Gao. After we do that, we'll take Reintegrate Songai, then we can restore the Empire, then we we just need these two to end it. This is going to be the most problematic one, man, yeah. Ooh, we got a unique uh, government reform, Musa Rule, Stab Discount, Advisors, and Legitimacy. Not bad, you know, maybe not better than a Nekta, but sure, I'll take it because it's unique. Uh, Yeah, let's get a move on fighting Jinnei, man. Uh, White Piece, Katsina and i think i'm gonna take stuff from kong too yeah they got that additional gold mine so let's just declare for whatever what's their highest dev province right here oh this is really high dev 18 all right yeah let's declare for the capital calling these guys again a uh, whole up i just did an estate agenda for the ulama these guys are 61 these guys are 64 how do we instantly get the emirs up to 60 man we got to give them some sort of privilege a right of council this just gives them loyalty right Primacy over the crown we don't want that right oh wait this gives all of them loyalty right yeah let's give out supremacy but wait that's just equilibrium but equilibrium is now above 60 it changes every month by 0.019 so we need to wait about 10 months for this to go up something like that there it is there it is finally finally dude this was the mission i was most worried about but okay there it is okay now that we're done with this i i do have a little bit of confidence sure it's still a very big pain playing over here no man power man fighting so many rebels and i'm attrition at the same time deserts savannas uh but okay now i feel confident now i think we can do it Oh yeah, also Ayer got pieced out. Okay, I can separate piece Kong. Oh, and I can separate piece Jenny. No need to piece these guys out. Okay, uh, that's done. Sweet. Aggressive expansion, not bad at all. Now we can take another mission, conquer Jenny. Uh, the Great Mosque of Jenny happens among, from a claim on Kong. Okay. Oh, sweet. Uh, that's right here, right? That's pretty nice. All right, so I just broke my alliance with uh, Songai. I'm going to attempt to ally some of their rivals to help me beat them up. And it's also time for a tier two government reform. Uh, even though strengthen isn't that good, man, we, we do need it. <laughs> All right, now to do this mission with the Kabu people right here, we got a Dev Gabu up to 15, which is which province? This one. And then we either need to accept Senegambian or be Senegambian primary. Okay, I can't accept it, but I need to state it up. Uh, let's... Uh, it's already a state. Okay, I'm going to activate Encourage right here. Uh, it needs to be 15, right? Okay, there we go. It is at 15. Still can't do it. We need to bump it up two more times. Where's Senegambian? All right, what's cheap here to dev? All right, this is the cheapest one. There we go. There's two more dev clicks. Now we can do it? Yeah, there we go. And there's the Kabul people. All right, every province, which is also a core of another country, will remain loyal. Nice. No more immediate separatists after I conquer someone. Excellent. We should have done this way earlier. I just didn't know it. All right, there's a new free company that isn't a uh, low on manpower. I think I'm going to start pushing for the Renaissance here. Ah, uh, we don't even have feudalism there, dude. No point. Yeah, let's just keep bumping this up for gold. All right, just dealt with four rebel stacks. Here's one more because uh, I lowered autonomy. All right, right now my truce with Songai expired and I'm still dealing with some rebels. Actually, I'm not. I just beat them all up. So now we're so low on manpower, man, is the thing. Grand company. What's my force limit? I can get like six guys. The Dahomey Amazons. These guys wouldn't be bad, I guess. So let's recruit them. And I think we're going to hit Songai here. And uh, there's uh, Kong devved up to 10 as well after I just got an event for 50 Diplo points. Awesome. There we go. Three gold mines at 10 production, man. Uh, I think. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Making good money from gold. Lots of inflation, but hey, who cares? Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and declare on Songai for the conquest of Gao since that's a province I specifically need. And actually, yeah, I'm going to set everything they own as a province of interest right here. Uh, just so no other guys occupy it. Okay, let's go ahead and declare for Gao, call in Zazao, and uh, we'll go ahead and piece these guys out yeah we got more troops low on manpower but shouldn't be that difficult if we go one by one now we can push for the renaissance here right in bagoe yeah that's right all right, let's start doing it. Okay, we can go ahead and piece out for this, which I do think will be enough. Uh, lots of Eminem points don't really have enough to core it up, but let's uh, let's call it for now. All right, now we can take the mission, reintegrate Songai. There we go. Stab the event Mali and the Songai. Boom, there we go. As it should be, Songai and accepted culture. Ooh, minus 30 years of separatism. That's a really strong mission, as it should be, baby. All right, stab Eminem points. We can restore the empire too. There's additional stab, 50 Eminem points if we don't need stab. And uh, we change to an empire, 50 prestige. I like that a lot. Restore Mali authority, fewer rebel armies than one. <gasps> We're almost done. We're almost done. All we gotta do is beat these guys up. There we go. Oh, there it is, baby. There it is. Restore Mali authority. Boom. It's done. Second golden age. Stab discount, minus 15% and monthly autonomy change. 
there it is. Oh, and after uh, 36 years, the disaster is over. Not pain. All right, but now that's all done, man, we can get started with our normal game right here, which is, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dev up the Renaissance right here, get caught up to tech and everything, you know, tech four in every category, then get the deck five, open up with exploration and start colonizing. Uh, in the meantime, of course, we're not just going to be colonizing. I am going to attempt to wipe as many of these guys out as I can. Fulo. They spawn here, right? I don't have claims on that, do I? Let's spawn them. All right, man. Now we can actually use our money to build buildings as well, since we got tech four in every category. Actually, why not go ahead and get new burger loans since I can? Uh, there we go. Easy. First stage ability. Let's preemptively go with this, man. I don't know if we're going to get to use it a whole lot, but why not? And there we go. There's the Renaissance. Can we embrace it immediately? We can't. All right. We need to wait for it to spread, I guess. Uh, let's activate an uh, advancement here and maybe in our capital too. It is connected to our capital. Should spread pretty fast. Oops. Should spread pretty fast over here. Yeah. Hey, sweet. Now we can embrace it. Wow. We're even a great power. <laughs> I was wrong. Molly is fun. Yeah, so now the game plan is, man, chill with admin points until we get admin tech 5 so we can get exploration. After that, we're going to continue fighting people. Sweet. Hey, sweet. There's uh, admin tech 5. Let's go open up with uh, exploration. There it is. We can actually get uh, this right away. And let's tell these uh, three lights to go home and add an explorer. Well, there's the explorer. Let's start exploring. Oh. <laughs> Okay, now that we got exploration, I'm gonna go ahead and declare on Fulo right here and wipe them out along with Bonoman. Tier 3 cover form time, I'm gonna go with this. Alright, I'm gonna go with uh, Repression right here just so we can colonize faster. And uh, even though I have my colonists now, uh, this is too far away because I'm still uh, Diplotech 4, by the way, so we need to push for 5. Uh, meanwhile, I'll just colonize this right here. And uh, yeah. Okay, this war that was uh, way more annoying than it needed to be is uh, finally done. There we go. Uh all right, so I built 10 light ships to complete this mission right here. The center of trade in Gabu is increased by one. There we go. Perfect. But uh, more importantly, I wanted to do this mission right here, the mystery of Koma Body. So we get this event. Okay, not bad. Oh, search for lost land discovered. What is this? Seed Pernambuco to Mali. Mali gains core in Pernambuco. Where is that? Where is Pernambuco? Oh, oh, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Easy. All right, let's uh, hunt for the seven cities. All right, man, while we're uh, doing good over in the colonies and uh, attempting to establish our colonial nations, let me go and wipe out Timbuktu because, uh, yeah, they're, they're in my way. Let's go with this and this. Allies are just horrible this game, man. Sweet, there's Timbuktu done. Uh, who do we fight next? Probably a Tenga, right? Actually, there's Admin 7. Uh, expansion. Let's get this done faster, baby. I seriously have claims on all of this. Oh, I forgot to give the burgers that. Awesome, there's the second colonist. Uh, let's go ahead and do our third province here. Okay, let's go ahead and fight uh, Yatenga. There's a colony done. Sweet. All right, two more provinces and uh, we'll have Colonial Brazil up and running. Nice, we're done here, man. Awesome. All right, there's some more provinces for us. You know, I'm satisfied with colonization, man. Uh, you know, obviously the AI will colonize right next to us because that's just how the game works. But, uh, you know, these guys haven't expanded here too much, which is something I was afraid of. Interesting, I could have spawned colonialism, but I didn't. England did. Wait, what happened here? And there we go, we can colonize the fifth and final province that we need in order to form a one colonial nation in the colonial Brazil region. Excellent. All right, once this guy is done, uh, let's take a look at our colonial range. We can't go to Argentina, but we can go to Colombia. Yeah, so it's pretty much uh, Brazil, Colombia, La Plata, and Peru. And that's a wrap on exploration. Awesome. Uh, we don't have a unique one as Mali. Ah, I'll go with the trade power. And there it is. That one in Brazil is done. Uh, let's take a look at this map right here. Okay, Colombia starts from here. Let's see. And yeah, we can colonize stuff over here. All right, that's in Colombia just to confirm. Yes, it is. Sweet. Eh. Listen, I'm not a good ally. What do you want me to say? You're for gov reform time. I think we're going to maintain since we're tolerant and stuff like that. Oh my god, my gold mine over here depleted all the way down to two? Oh, Ashanti. Why am I getting the event? Oh, because they pop out of here. I don't want to play as Ashanti. There they are. Let's spy on them. And if you're wondering why I'm not conquering right now, it's because we're pushing expansion ideas, right? We need the admin points for that. And I'm already teching up with Dip, which is going to enable me to colonize Argentina later. All right, finally, we're almost out of this horrible Queen Regency. This guy's pretty good uh, in admin points, which is what we need right now. Hey, there it is. Uh, there's Brazil. Mali and Brazil. How about Malizil? Perfect. And it's going to be a crown colony because, well, I don't really care. <laughs> Well, that's perfect, man. One down, three to go. Uh, establishing Colombia right now. After Colombia, we'll do Argentina. And later in Peru, we might have to fight some of the 
income guys there you know come to think of it we are making enough money to run more colonies man let me recall that guy from there and let's actually send him here and actually if three colonies are costing us 8.6 uh an additional colony will take it up to like a 16 or a 17 or something like that so what i'm gonna do is recall this guy too and send him over here and there we go now that all four of these will be done boom just like that we'll establish columbia and go down to la plata yeah okay 19 ducats but pretty much the same that's about good for now we'll deal with four colonies and uh there we go an additional colonist everyone uh perfect let's let's speed up some of these doesn't matter which one we got a thing here or i'll build it for my boys you know what i'm gonna build up a sizable transport fleet here just in case we need to move our troops around or something like that we are gonna go somewhat over our first limit but uh yeah this is in preparation for maybe fighting someone in peru hey colonialism has spread enough i'll take it there's a fourth colonist in fact um all of these are gonna be done pretty soon yeah let's send the guy there okay so a colony in colombia is now finished which means i need to wait for three more right uh yeah there's uh two done okay so now this uh, free colonist we can send him down here to la plata let's take a look at the colonial regions all right it starts from here and my colonial range is uh well i can reach pretty much anything can't i might as well do it down here to get closer to peru right okay let's go there send the colonists there to uh carmen and uh basically tell these guys to go down to carmen let's hope uh no natives rise up before i get there excellent another colony is done uh there he is we can send him right there and another one shout out dj khaled uh right there hey sweet there we go there's a wrap on expansion now we can go ahead and take this for even more colonial growth uh perfect uh now we can get back to conquest i think sure hey and there's another colonial nation malian colombia how about maliumbia there we go okay i'm gonna go ahead and declare on ashanti and there we go, five colonies are being built in the La Plata area right now. As soon as these are done, we'll have Argentina, and after that, it's only Peru left. The boys are coming in to help out. I was like, who's Molly Zilli, w whatever. Okay, that's it for Ashanti. I'm gonna hit Fanon Gurma now, since uh, Benin won't help. All right, so one colony is done, but I, uh, <laughs> I still can't see Peru. Hey, finally, I can see Peru. This is the first province right here, and I... Can I reach it? Oh, I can't. That's way further away than I thought it'd be. Okay, we gotta go here, I guess. Right, in the meantime, I've beaten up Fada and Gurma. And there's uh, La Plata as well. Mali Plata. Boom. Okay, now after sending a guy to uh, Africa, apparently, uh, which I could, I don't know why, uh, now I can send him to Peru. Which means, once this guy is here, I can recall these guys and send them around here, I think. Okay, there we go. We're colonizing three provinces in the Peru region, but that's about it. <laughs> we'll have to fight, like, Cusco or Ichma or something like that, so that's why I'm spying on them right now. Uh, in the meantime, we can go back home, and I'm going to be provoking all of these revolts that I can provoke, beat up all the rebels, and then I'm going to take these troops uh, over to Peru. Okay, so what we're going to do here is put a conquistador in charge of this army as well. And uh, let's take these troops over to here, and then I'll just walk them over to Peru. All right, awesome. They're here. Uh, Yeah, go there. There we go. We've even arrived to Admin Tech 10. Why not go with something mill here? What's going to help us out immediately? Quality, I think. Perfect. And after a long and treacherous journey through the Amazon rainforest, our main army has arrived on the Malian Peruan coast. And we can go ahead and declare a war versus Cusco, who also happens to be fighting Portugal right now, because we only need two provinces from them. Nothing more, nothing less. Let's bomb this fort. All three colonies here are done, and if you're wondering why I'm not colonizing this, it's not in Peru, so it won't count. But uh, yeah, all three colonies are done here, man. All we gotta do is take two provinces and core them up. I miss playing here. I wonder if we'll get to play in Peru again in A to Z. Doubt it, honestly. There you go, man. Just siege down two forts, not a battle fought as we can see, and I'll take the two cheapest provinces. Simple as that. Alright, they're both in Peru, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and core them up. While we're coring them up, time for tier 5 go reform. Let's go organize military staff. Let's take this. Let's tech up. And there it is. After coring these two up, we can form the colonial nation of Maru. Boom, just like that as a crown colony. And if I could get the achievement, if I didn't already have it, this is when it would be accomplished. Because our goal for today as Mali was to get the achievement, which I already had, Abu Bakr II's ambition, which requires us to have four colonial nations in South America. And there they are, man. Uh, Maliumbia, Malizil, Mali Plata and Maru. And with that, this challenge is a success. But yeah, there you go, man. Start off as the nation of Mali right here with a very, very difficult and annoying start. Probably maybe not the most difficult start, like I said at the start of the video, but definitely the most annoying, man, with a horrible disaster which requires you to do like 17 missions to get rid of. But honestly, man, 
Uh, I don't know what I was so afraid of, and I don't know why I thought that I would hate it when in fact I didn't. It was super fun. It took us like 36 years to get through that disaster. Sure, you could probably get it done uh, a lot quicker, you know, if you play in a different way. I just didn't know how to do it. I had no experience, but if I have another shot, I feel like I can end it like 20-ish years or something like that. Overall, super fun mission tree, man. Uh, I would go through it if this was a regular gameplay or something, but it's not. It's A to Z, and that was our goal to get those colonial nations wrapped up the disaster, wrapped up the nations in this portion of Africa, at least, making a ton of money from the gold mines over here. Didn't take care of all of this, but honestly, it's because we didn't need to, man. Why fight these guys? Why drag this out for any longer than we need to when we could have just focused on colonization like we did? And that's exactly what we did, man. Actually gained a province over here, uh, Pernambuco, I think it was, from our mission tree after that colonization colonized four more right here boom went to colombia colonized things here went to la plata colonized things down here went to peru colonized and fought nations over here and with that we have four colonial subjects there they are let's tell them all to siege this guy is uh, cannot send the treasure fleet whatever don't care and uh that's that overall a super fun campaign man really not i wouldn't say we were weak at the start it's just that the manpower and the constant rebels and stuff like that until you complete some of these missions were super annoying but um after we got done with that man slow and steady expansion not expanding too much never in any real pain honestly this campaign and um overall even though i was so scared of playing molly uh i'm definitely excited to be back with them again sometime and i definitely recommend that you guys give them a shot as well but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i'm happy to say that this campaign as molly in a to z has been a success and that has been molly in a to z let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week, and if it's the Mamluks, don't let me know, because everyone already wants me to do the same thing, to become the HRE Emperor as the Mamluks, and to form Florence, you know, to flip that achievement around or something like that. So, uh, yeah, if it's the Mamluks next, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. HRE Emperor, Florence, Mamluks, baby. You know what it is. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash redhawklive, and if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel, link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like, it really helps out a lot, and if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them, and you can become a member today, and join the Discord, the link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.